Hello gamers, this is Flamin' Gaming 7 and welcome back to another episode of Mario plus Rapid Star Sparks of Hope. After the crazy reveal about the true identity and nature of Cursa and where Rosalina's been this whole time, we're ready to storm her stronghold. Or is Cursa- Rosalina's a her, but is Cursa just an it? I mean, it's just made out of darkness and mega bug. We're just gonna go with it for Cursa. <laughs> I hope I don't get cancelled for using incorrect pronouns. A uh, little bit of a side note here. If we wanted, we could go back to Palette Prime and do the giant Magikoopa quest because we have all 28 sparks we need. There's a total of 30 sparks in the game. And I'm guessing the last two are just gonna be found somewhere throughout Barrendale Mesa? Um, yep, two spark quests over there, as I thought. After those two spark quests, we'll have them all, but we're not worrying about that right now. We gotta go save Rosalina and the rest of the galaxy. For now, uh, let's make sure we all stocked up on everything we need. I think, let's get an extra mushroom bag. And an extra normal mushroom. Five mushroom chests is enough. Pal blocks are good. Um, none of these are too particularly useful. And then I'm not... Uh, these could actually be really useful in certain situations. We'll get, we'll just, we'll just get one extra. We'll just get one extra. And then I don't really want to worry about the planet coin stuff right now. Because right now, we're just going to head on to Curse of Stronghold. Real quick, I am going to switch my team so that we aren't all at such low health. Because something about that just stresses me out. Let's get the team that, mm, no, let's just get Rabid Rosalina, Mario, and Rabid Mario. We may not be using him in the final battle, but... I at least want him to be one of the ones we ride off into space to curse the stronghold with. Anyway, no more stalling. Let's head to Cursa's stronghold. It's time. No side quests, I'm guessing. No sparks, I know for sure. It's just Cursa. Yeah. Unity. We must trust in one another. Especially Rabbit Mario. Our bond makes us stronger than all the fear and anger Cursa could ever add to the galaxy. Where are Bowser and Rabbit Rosa? Well said. Wow. You're really getting good at this emotion. She is. And Beepo's he's Beepo. Everyone. Everyone, can we pretty please use Mama's Shield Buster now? <laughs> he wants to see it in action. I do too, to be fair. The giant rubber duck that I think I just saw phase out of existence, but oh well. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my. It's the Comet Observatory. Of course, I should have known. Turned evil by Curse's darkness. Can a place really be evil? That's that's Rosalina's Comet Observatory. What's going on, Genie? The observatory's coordinates match those of the epicenter of darkness energy spreading throughout the galaxy. There, see the Comet Observatory's beacon? It is the entrance to the very core of the darkness dimension itself. Oh. It wasn't enough to take control of Rosalina. It had to ruin her home. A symbol of hope for all the galaxy. <laughs> Listening to Beepo whine compared to Genie is just so funny. Oh? What are we waiting for? We're here, Rosalina, we're here! Why would we land here? Go straight to the Common Observatory. I guess that's why. We have to make a lot of emergency landings, I feel like. <laughs> that one is one of our better ones. Well, perhaps our ship can't get any closer to the Comet Observatory, but we can. Mm-hmm. We just got one little trek across. Ooh, golden cannon. So are there going to be any enemies? I'm guessing so. I think I saw a darkness puddle or two. Two darkness puddles yep. stand in our way. Being this close to Cursa, they will be exceedingly dangerous. 
Oh my gosh, we're totally... Oh, we're not fighting Curse of this episode. We all know we're not. I wish we would, but we aren't. Oh, yeah? Oh my gosh, that's quite the metaphor. Simile, simile, I'm always complaining about these two not knowing what a metaphor is. I am not going to be a hypocrite now. That was a simile because it used the word like or as. So I guess we're pretty dangerous too. Okay, I, I was talking over him so I had to read it so you knew what he said. Even though you could probably read it yourself, but you see. Oh, what are you doing here? Ha! Don't expand too fast, my investor said. Never open a location on floating debris, they said. <laughs> Fortune favors the brave, I had told them. Not that I would ever go gouge a customer, mind you. But if you can find lower prices on top-grade products within a cannon shot of Curse's Stronghold, buy them! <laughs> I love this guy. Speaking of, any direct engagement with Curse avoids the warranties on these puppies. I'll let you browse. <laughs> oh my gosh. So... Not, none of this, none, nothing with planet coins we can buy, as I'd expect. I noticed there's no, like, of the mega double ultra mushroom chests that let you heal 100% HP. For some reason, those are only on Terra Flora, which is really weird and specific. You'd think he'd have everything we could need here. But, oh well. I guess let's just head on. I don't think I see any puzzles or anything. It's just a straight shot. King of Darkness. That's actually a little terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. I wonder if there's going to be some kind of Spark Hunter rematch here. What? Dry Bowser? Stone Bowser? Oh, wow. That could be bad. Oh, my gosh. It looks like Bowser's Castle. That's so cool. Defeat. Oh, it's a Dark Miss Bowser. That makes sense. That's so cool. <laughs> Hold up. I should be terrified right now. <laughs> Wait, do we have four heroes we can use? We maybe were required to use Bowser as one of them. Right it's Dark Miss Bowser. That's so cool. Cursa, having descended from the mega bug encountered in your previous adventures, has inherited its memories from which it reconstructed this likeness of Bowser. That's right. The mega bug assumed control of Bowser, treating him like a mindless puppet. Mm -hmm. That was all for nothing. We beat him. <laughs> Bowser Jr. has not been in this game. <laughs> nice. Not sure why we don't just send in everyone, but oh well. Okay, so we got some Goombas, Magic, just a bunch of Goombas and Magic Koopas. Nice. I like that it's only the Mario enemies. No rabbits. It's just straight Mario. I like that. No bob bombs though. Maybe they'll po pop up later. Now, how much? Oh my gosh. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want... Wait, wait, wait. Leah, let's take a very close note of what Dark Miss Bowser can do. Aims to control parts of the battlefield using area attacks by spawning, spawning Dark Miss Rabbit Mecha Koopas. So is he pretty much just Bowser? Yeah, he's just normal Bowser, Dark Miss... Yeah, yeah. So it's three. Only three. One dash. Doesn't look like he has the slam ability. None of the skill tree stuff that gives him extra Rabbit Mecha Koopas or a slam down or anything like that. So he's basically just a worse version of our Bowser with a gazillion health. Gotcha. And what's the purpose of all this space in the back of the arena? That worries me a bit. That's gotta have a purpose. What are all these barrels for? It looks like fire. And you know, I'm just realizing something. I can't, hold on. I could do a stream where I do like this battle and the next one and then fight Cursa. That could be fun, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Let me think about that for a second. That could be fun. Okay, as fun as I think that would be, I'm not gonna lie, I really wanna I really wanna play this game right now. And I don't wanna wait until the next opportunity I have to stream. So I think I'm just gonna go for it and keep playing the game. Now, this is what I was saying earlier, but then interrupted because I wanted to look at Dark Miss Bowser. But should we bring Rabid Mario into this fight? Because <clears throat> I feel like I'm not going to bring him into the final fight. I, I'm saying that much for sure. But I do kind of want to bring Rabid Mario in just because we haven't gotten a chance to play around with him in so long. Uh, then again, he's in the entire Rayman Adventures. Um, 
let me think about that too. I gotta do a lot of thinking right now. Okay, I allow Rabid Mario, but I have to use Rabid Luigi as well. And he he's really good in specific situations. But overall, he is one of the least valuable members of the, I shouldn't say valuable. The least sh uh, strong members of our team. However, just because Krillin's one of the weakest Dragon Ball characters doesn't mean he ain't one of my favorites. Let's go with this. Plus, because of all the Goombas around, he could actually be really useful. Um, Magic Koopas, I think, are just resistant to everything. And I'm gonna guess Bowser is not gonna be weak to anything, at the very least. Um, he might be resistant to just... Okay, he's just resistant to burn. Okay, then. Um, I'm not gonna bore you with sitting here for thousands of years looking at my sparks. I'm just gonna manage those on my own real quick. You're welcome. Okay, Starburst and Wild Claw Master on Bowser. Gargantu Fan and Screech on Rabid Luigi. Exosphere and Pulsar on Rabid Peach. And Glitter and Vampstra on Rabid Mario. I think is the way to go. Then again, I could get... Oh, hold on. I think I need Vamp Dash. Yeah, I think I need Vamp Dash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not, that's not really something I can question. Dashes are way too OP in this game. I cannot let that opportunity slide. Now, who gets Reginus? Because we need Reginus. Like, just to be safe. Because you never know how poorly this could go. I think we'll just give him to Bowser per usual. It's odd that Bowser... Not Reginus. Pulsar. I always say Reginus. Reginus is the other one. This one's Reginus. Reginus is the healer. Pulsar is the reviver. <laughs> okay... Um, do we want Bowser? I think it's fine to give Bowser Pulsar. Because he's got Starburst, and we usually won't want to use these two sparks on the same turn, so I'm fine with that. Um, you've got a bit of skill points we could use. You've got such a glide boost. Okay, that's good to know. 85% chance critical hit. That's actually a little OP. I hate to say it, but critical hits could be kind of OP if I give them a chance, I think. Exhaust range, I think, could be really good. Boom. Had to refund a bit of stuff, but worth it. We could do more weaken effects. I don't know. I think we're just gonna leave it. I mean, I do kind of like having the really OP uh, glide. But, I mean, do we really need it? It's cool, but do we need it? But I, I only need two more points for that. Our movement, is movement range something we, like, really need? Oh my gosh, hold on. I think getting the weaken effect and range up, that could be really good. Oh, that's such a range up. But I, I don't know, there's not too many opponents. So I don't think, I think we can give him a bit of a glide boost. There we go, because there's not actually that many opponents. Rabid Peach? Anything good for you? Mega Heal is an obvious yes. I think, I kind of just want to go for that. Minus one glide boost, minus one extra health, and then get mega heal. Healing 40%, that's actually so good. Healing jump up would be nice, but it's four skill points, so I'm not going to worry about that now. Rabid Mario, now you, there's someone I'm excited about. I haven't actually upgraded counter blow too much. Additional charge. That could be really good, but we need another point for it, and we don't have much of anything to refund. Payback? Oh, yeah, you know I want payback. That does bunches of damage to whoever attacks us. We could lower the cooldown. Critical hit chance plus 5% actually isn't that good. I know I've kind of been gassing critical hit lately, but I don't know how good that is, or the area dash range. I think we just go with cooldown. No... I kind of want additional charge for counter blow, but we'd have to refund something, and honestly, I really like everything we've got right now. I think I'm just going to go ahead, give him more health, make him a heal sponge. But, like, he doesn't really need health stuff is the thing, because he's got so much already. I feel like, yeah, counter blow cooldown, however little, would be a better option. And as I said, he's got infinite health, basically, so we'll give him more movement range. Oh, this is exciting. Haven't used Rabid Mario in a hot minute. And then, wait, did we, we already looked at you. I just left you with a skill point. Um, you get extra health. Happy Christmas. All right. 
I think that's looking good. And I haven't looked at our weapon skins in a while. You don't have anything new. I don't feel like looking through everyone. <laughs> I don't feel like looking through everyone, not gonna lie. Just rapping Mario, my man. Let's do this. We got Bowser and then the rabid versions of the three main Mario characters. Oh, this is exciting. It, li it looks like Bowser's castle. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, now I think it's pretty obvious what the game wants us to do here. It wants us to shoot that magic Koopa. Why would I ever do what the video game wants me to do? What kind of idiot do you think I am? Bowser, he's gonna jump up here. Oh, barely be able to make that. Okay. Can he shoot the magic Koopa? He cannot. I think the magic Koopas do have really good range, so we gotta make sure we're behind cover at all times. I don't think we should get Starburst or anything fancy like that. Just pow. Probably should have gotten Rabbit Mecha Koopa sooner, but it's no big. Is there like, can I like turn direction to summon the Magic Koopas? Not Magic Koopas, Mecha Koopas definitely no. I don't think I'm gonna go with it then. I don't think it's worth it. Is there any way I could get you to attack a bunch of Goombas? That's kind of, that's kind of why I brought him into this battle. I think I'll just have him go this way. But, and then that's better than nothing, I guess. Is there anything else we could do? I don't really think so. We do have uh, the Rabbit Kong summoner, but I'm not sure if that's worth it. And now which one do we want to go left and which one do we want to go right? That's the question. I honestly don't think it matters that much. So let's just see where there's more enemies to take out, both sides. In that case, I'll just send Rabbit Peach over here so she can heal him a little bit because he needs it. Just barely made that. Oh my gosh. And I think just staying here could be good. Do we want to activate? We could actually jump down and do some dash shenanigans, but like, I think we're taking her out anyway. Or him or whatever. I don't really know. Hmm. I think Rabbit Mario is just going to go in the middle. Screw all that stuff about each of us going to different sides. Rabbit Mario is just gonna go in the middle and get some punches out. This was a terrible idea. I'm realizing that this was a terrible idea. Okay. I know, I know he could survive it, but like, I don't want him taking more damage than necessary. This isn't gonna be much better, actually. I was trying to make it so she could go around here and get behind that cover. Yeah, no, none of this has gone to plan. Okay. Dash. Dash. Dash, and that's just gonna take you out. Is it? Hold on. Oh, she doesn't have another dash. She is not edge. She does not have another dash. Okay, and then Rabbit Mario. You know what? Let's assert his dominance by just standing in the middle here. Come and get me, Bowser. Oh, I have not felt that satisfying punching in so long. It feels good. Okay, anyone you can attack? You can get that barrel. You could try to get some Goombas, it wouldn't go very well. Oh, you could get that Goomba, I guess. I mean, I feel like it'd be a bit of a waste not to. I, it's an enemy we're destroying, may as well. <laughs> okay, and I think everyone's pretty much good where they're at. All right, let's end the turn there. Anything you guys wanna do? Slowly approach us. Could I destroy all the Goombas with a nice glitter? Rabbit Mario and a nice glitter could maybe get all those Goombas. Okay, that's not actually good. I forgot that cover isn't going to be as effective against mm, uh, Dark Miss Bowser. We're actually already really close to him. Is that going to... Okay, not going to explode. I forgot. Those things can be dumb sometimes. So, how does picking up an enemy... Uh oh, gosh! They just blow up if you run into them. I don't know what else I expected. I don't know what else I expected. I really don't know what else I expected from that. Um, well, the Goombas are gone. <laughs> I don't know what else I expected. <laughs> I really don't know what else I expected. Um, did you guys know I didn't know what else to expect? <sighs> okay. We can't take the enemies around us too lightly. That could just end up going really badly. Maybe we should get some of the Magic Koopas out. I think we should, like, try to capture one of the sides. Like, kind of take this side as our base, leave those Magic Koopas there, and just always be behind good cover. Or we just let Rabbit Mario go off on his own and obliterate one half of the Magic Koopas. I like that idea as well, I'm not gonna lie. I gotta remember how OP he is. He's got so much health. It's not, it's not even fair. 
I don't think we're going to focus on Darkness Bowser this turn. However, I think I am still going to go with a Turbo Charge. Uh, how much is the cooldown on Turbo Charge, actually? It's three turns. No, let's not. Let's not. Let's just get a team jump with Rabbit Mario. And go take out some freaking Magikoopas. Can we get both? Oh, gosh. And now it's time for everyone's favorite part, where we try and see if we can attack both Magikoopas at once. Which I'm sure you guys missed this. I'm sure you love just sitting here for ages watching me just try to perfectly position him in a way that's potentially impossible. But, like, it looks so possible. It just looks like it's so maybe possible. No, not like that. Come on. It's so close. Okay, fine. I'll stop making bad content. I'll stop making bad content. If I glitter, that Magikoopa does have a way to get over to me. It's got a three-turn cooldown. I think I want... I, I think... I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Everyone, get the heck over here. And that Magic Koopa just goes all the way around. Whoop. Whoop. And it just... It keeps going around. And it just stopped. Rigged. Actually rigged. Actually so rigged. Okay. Dash... Dash. Oh my goodness, that's insane. Okay, and I think... There's no way we can get both of you ra Wait, is there? Wait, I was joking. There might actually be. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, let me cook, let me cook, let me cook, let me cook, let me cook. Yeah, no, I don't think it's possible. At least that's what I'm gonna tell myself so I can stop making bad content. Let's just... Pow, 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 shapow! We did not actually take out any of the Magic Koopas. That's fine. Bowser's gonna take a bit of a long way around, but it's an effective way, I think. Hop down here, and maybe just vibe here. Maybe get in some Rabbit Mecha Koopas. Yeah! I like that. That could be really good. Although I don't think any of them are gonna go to the one near Rabbit Mario. Oh my! Um, they blew up each other. That's actually not good. Okay, let's use Bowser to his fullest potential by getting Rabid Mario over here because he can move after attacking because he's genuinely so OP. That will not take you out. I'm going to cry. I'm going to team jump off of you and land around here. Oh, explosion. I really got to be careful of those barrels whenever I'm landing. They are not safe. Don't play with explosive, kids. And I got to Something I, I just remembered is that the Darkness ba Bowser is still going to be able to hit our normal Bowser because of the way his weapon works. I think down here might actually be safe. I think this is actually safe even though it's behind partial cover because of how low down I am. That's good. Okay, and now we send you two around this way. Um, I think we'll just bring Rabbit Peach up this way, too. We'll go around, and where exactly do we want to position her? I think I know. Whoop. Go around this way. Land carefully. Take you guys out. We cannot dash any of the Magic Koopas. I'm just going to vibe down here. I don't know. This could mean we're in the range of Darkness Bowser. That's not ideal. But, like, what can we really do about it? I think I'd rather... Ahem. <clears throat> I'd rather be safe from the Magic Koopas. And then nothing really special we could do. Pew, pew, pew. All right. And then Rabid Luigi. He can go this way. And then down here. And then just kind of chill here, maybe? That's nice. Okay. And maybe we could mess with them by using Screech? That wouldn't even... Oh, it would affect the other one. How much would that really do, though? Isn't Screech, like, really OP in this game? Hold on. Let's just find out. I haven't used Screech in a while. Oh, yeah. That Magikoop is even going in a pipe to get away from us. Oh, yeah. It's OP in this game. Okay, that was worth it. Oh my gosh, that Magikoop is so far away. What the heck? 
How far away are you? Why are you? What? What? Why did you go all the way around? What? That was so weird. Some weird pathing thing, I guess. All right, that certainly happens. Empower. That's not good, actually. Oh, that's why we brought Pulsar. Rabid Luigi might be screwed, too. Oh, he's not even half health. Okay. Are you going to shoot Rabid Mario? No. You're going to shoot Rabid Mario. You're going to shoot Bowser. Okay. Uh, we cannot let Bowser fall. We cannot treat Bowser's life anywhere near... Um, I don't really know what the word I'm looking for is, but the, we can't really treat anyone's life, whatever the word I'm looking for is, because even if we have Pulsar, we still gotta be careful. I think our main focus is getting Bowser over to Rabbit Peach to revive. I mean, maybe we shouldn't rush it. That could be our undoing. If we rush it. Hmm... So hold on. I'm going to take a small detour, Bowser. Give me a second. I got to think this all through very carefully, like always. Boom. Is that not even enough? I'm going to scream. I should have vamp dashed. I don't have vamp dash. Never mind. Okay. I know I could have attacked and then moved, but I really don't want to do that with how OP his attack is. I think that Magikoopa might be our biggest threat. I maybe... Rabbit Mario goes up there and then springs away. What's the range on this guy's weapon? All right, not the worst that I've ever seen. Can we get in? Okay, we cannot get in that small gap for sure. I think we try to get that magic hoop with Rabbit Mario and then hide down here. Maybe get that ma Rabbit Map. Not ra Let me word. Ah, uh, I don't know how to word. I don't know, I think we have a lot of options here. I don't necessarily think any one of them is better than the than another. Maybe we send Bowser back here. No, that'd take too long. I do want to get to Rabbit Peach within a timely manner. Waha. Okay, I think we hide over here. Should we Starburst? I don't think so. I think we just go with a normal blast with a double blast. No one else is going to get hit by that. Okay, that was good. Oh, Rabbit Mario just barely can't team jump off him. That's annoying. Wish I had thought about that. Okay. No, I'm going... Okay, Tacticam. Tacticam is not responsive. I don't really want to use his immense power just to punch that Magic Koopa. That might be what we do, though. It might be part of the strategy. Big, big strategy. Mm, we could dash. Ooh, exhaust dash. That's what I'm talking about. And we kind of vibe here because we're probably safe from Bowser. I think... I think that's good. That'll take out the Magikoopa. Okay. We only got two Magikoopas left to deal with. We do have you, but you can't attack on higher levels, and you don't have enough range to hit the other Magikoopa anyway. So I think we're just going to go in that pipe and punch that Magikoopa. Not the best use of Rabbit Mario's strength, but we're going to just go for it. Pow, 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 pow! And then we just kind of hide over here. And there's actually a chance, there's actually a good chance that, um, Dark Miss Bowser, I'm just gonna say Bowser, the word Dark Miss is too much for my brain to think about. I think we're gonna go with Counter Blow, because I think Bowser's gonna attack us. But then it feels weird, because we've got the normal Bowser here with us. I don't know. I'll try to say it correctly. And I'm gonna guess, yeah, we can't reach Rabid Peach. I think we're done then. You're gonna hit, that's not good. That's also not good. No, that's not good. That's not good. I should have healed. I should have healed. I should have healed. Come on, Bowser. I believe. 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 Oh, don't. You're going to be. Oh, you can go down. I didn't think you would do that. I didn't think you would do that. Okay. 
You're gonna attack Rabid Mario, though. He's got Counter Blow. Nice. Nice! Okay. Bowser's alive. We're healing him this turn. Okay. We're gonna have a bit of an exchange here. Bowser, you revive Rabid Peach. Nice. Rabid Mario, can you get over to where they're at? Just barely he can't reach that bounce pad. That's infuriating. That is so infuriating. I don't think there's a way we can get over there. What's that? Oh, crap. There's portals. I didn't even realize because there's so much happening. Okay. Let's just, for reference now, we can shoot the portals. I think we're going to want to do that then. Rabbit Mario, I think, is going to stay up here in that case because I'd like to get him down there so we can he can heal with them because I'm about to use a heal with Rabbit Peach. Maybe it'll reach anyway. That's Vamp Dash. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Heal button is just this button. It will not be reaching Rabbit Mario whatsoever. That's fine, though. That's fine. We'll live. She heals for so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, where's Darkness Bowser? Where is he? Oh, yeah. He's up here. He's up here. I might just want to leave him there, though. And just take care of the portal and the Magic Koopa. And keep, and keep a Rabbit Mario up there. I think... Okay, I definitely want to keep Rabbit Luigi down here. Because if we send him up here, he'll blow up a whole bunch of stuff with his ricochets. And I don't want to do that unless we set it up properly. What are you doing? I was so, I was so confused there. He can just barely not reach that Dark Mist thing. What the heck? It's like right there. Just, like, stretch out your arms a little, Luffy style. <laughs> okay, I think we really need to focus on cover from Darkness Bowser, which I don't think is a big issue. I mean, he can move through that pipe. We shouldn't act like he isn't an issue, because that's not true. He is. Hmm. Maybe we just steal a spot from him? Where he was standing earlier? That could work. I think he just has so much range. We can't worry about him too much. I think next turn, okay. This turn, we're definitely gonna take out the Magic Koopa and the portal. Next turn, we turbocharge and we wail on him. I think we get, we've prioritized setting up for that. I think we drop the rabid Mecha Koopas right here. They should go after the portal. If not, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh, I, that's ridiculous. At least if he comes out of that pipe, he's going to take massive damage. So you know what? I've seen worse. I've seen far worse situations than that. Although I could pick them up and then throw them. We don't even know if that would work though, so let's not risk anything. I think I stop being so indecisive and I just team jump up here and I try and take out this freaking Magic Koopa. Why? Why can you not get up there? Bowser! Bowser! Yeah, that makes sense. It's two levels up. Yeah, it's two levels up. I didn't consider that. I should have team jumped over here instead. Crap, well, that's not good. Uh, we barely had anything to work with. We only had movement abilities to work with anyway. Okay. She's gonna get up here. The correct way, for the record. Shrimp. Shrimp. And she's gonna dash this, this Magic Koopa. So, definitely Vamp Dash. Honestly, that should be enough. Maybe I should have saved Vamp Dash for next turn, but oh well. I definitely should have saved it for next turn, actually. What's wrong with me? It's, it's whatever. It's whatever. I've made worse decisions. Bowser? I, I think Bowser's just gonna kinda hide out back here. Then again, we don't even really have anyone going after this portal now that I look at it. That's not good. Okay, can we get Rabbit Mario over here then? I think we need Rabbit Mario for that. Uh, we'll dash you because there's no one else to dash. Trump. I really hope we can save Vamstra for next turn. That is probably going to do it. Yep. Just run down here, punch that portal, and then maybe run back up, honestly. Should I take one of these guys with me? Uh, it doesn't really matter because they're probably going to get to him next turn. 
Worst case scenario, I'll just pick them up next turn, because honestly, it'd be a hassle. <laughs> I'm gonna be totally honest, that's the main reason I don't want to. It'd be an absolute hassle. Okay, let's get him over here. That should make him relatively safe, actually. We don't know where he's gonna go, however. I don't want to get too far away, because as I said, I want to wail on him next turn. So maybe I just go where he won't be able to run away from me, right here, and I'll, no, I'll be able to chase him no matter what. It's a little risky, though, but I don't want to defile Rabbit Mario's legacy by using a healing item with him. So I'm guessing we can't shoot anything. Okay. <laughs> You're on my list. What did you shoot? You shot the Rabbit Mecha Koopas. That's fine, actually. The portals. Ugh. We just need to... We can't worry about the portals anymore. We just gotta go for it. This pipe will lead us over here. Dark Miss Bowser's over there. I think I can work with this. I think. Maybe we should all get, like, right in this kind of area. But then we'd be grouped up, and I don't want that. Okay. Peach? Rabbit Peach, I mean, where are you? Okay, okay. I'm, keep I'm keeping track of where everyone is. Bowser's gonna go over here. I'm pretty confident about that play. And we gotta make sure we can get... Oh, I can't move. Well, that's annoying. It's fine, though, because we can vault over this. Okay, okay. In that case, we get you up here. And we're just gonna do as much damage as we can this turn. I definitely think we're gonna get a weaken in on uh, Dark Miss Bowser. If we can. We can't. Dang it. Well, we could get a team jump, which I will probably be doing. And then Rabid Peach is here. Um, first, I just wanna make sure as soon as possible, everyone gets affected with the turbo charge. We gotta be closer than I thought. Okay, that's fine. Rabbit Mario over here. Hopefully that's enough. Barely. And then Rabbit Peach over here. Okay, good, good, good. We can get everyone with the turbo charge. Everyone, power up. Rah! Okay, and can we shoot Darkness Bowser from over here? I don't think so. Does not seem like it. Where even is he? Okay, there he is. It's hard to see because he blends in because he's so dark. Hmm. Okay, so I'm thinking this is where we do team jump shenanigans. I think we're just gonna get us get get up here. Yep, I think that's the strat. I really don't know exactly where I want to go. Don't have as many options here as I would have liked. Don't think we can get a dash in on him. I think we just blast. That will damage him with the barrel. But honestly, I want to damage him directly. I'm just going to get behind the 50% cover, honestly. Although I would like to get the barrel as well, but that's just going to hurt me. That's not worth that. Although, he, if he shot me, then maybe... Oh, we would probably shoot the barrel too if he shot me. That's actually a really bad position to be in for that reason. Huh... Okay, this isn't ideal, but if we can hit him, which of course we can't, because why would we ever be able to do that? Okay, I think the final position I've settled on is right next to the portal, which I'm not fond of. I don't want to attack yet, though. I want to get everyone in their attacking positions. Then we'll attack. I think if we could get Rabbit Luigi somewhere relatively safe, I would really appreciate that. If we could get him up here, I think we could get some combos off that portal and off Darkness Bowser. Rabid Peach, ha she has access to a bounce pad, so she's totally fine. Huh. Actually, let's get him to a bounce pad. I know that was a sudden change. Let's get him to a bounce pad. I know that was very sudden, but I want to be able to exhaust dash him. So first, let me test. Can I both dash him and get back to the thing? I cannot. Understood. In that case, I think we just get around where Bowser's at right now. Uh, uh. Yes, just barely. Okay. Well, empowered and everything. Looking good. I think we're gonna... Actually, he's got an exhaust dash, so we don't need to actually activate the exhaust effect. Gotcha. That would just be a waste. And as much as I want to activate this just to do the extra damage, it's not worth it because it destroys all the cover. Fault over that. Hide behind here as best we can. Although I don't like grouping up with Bowser, we don't have much other choice if we want to stay safe from the other enemies. 
maybe we could get over here. Okay, I think this is good. I don't think he'll be able to hit the both of us from right here. And then... Oh, he's going to be hitting that. He's going to be hitting the explosives. Yeah, that's what I was worried about earlier. Okay, in that case, we have to get behind here. It's like the only way we can really stay safe. And can we maybe hit Bowser from here? Or Dark Miss Bowser? We cannot. Okay. That's kind of blowing that up pointless. No, that blowing up, that would actually damage him. Okay. I think some massive damage in this turn. Okay, nice. We could screech him away. Okay, we're gonna do that for sure. Not yet, though. We gotta get everyone's attacks in first. Sadly, we cannot heal with Rabbit Peach. I would like to get in a Fortify, actually. I would really like to get that. Okay, this is a little risky, but I really think it's worth it to Fortify everyone. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna be going. She does still have a Team Jump available, which is really good. Okay. Okay, and I think... Oh, she can just barely dash him. I didn't even... I did not even account for that. That was just luck. I'm gonna be totally real here. Okay, and Rabbit Mario can get down here. And then, where do I want her to land? I think up here. She should be able to shoot him from up here. Yep. Pew, pew, pew. Pow, pow, pow. Okay, Rabbit Beach, totally out of options. Bowser is not totally out of options. He can shoot. There's no way we can get him to a bounce pad so that we're able to dash and or slam the ground on him. So I think we're just gonna fire. Oh my gosh, that almost... It did destroy our cover. Oh, I totally should have unequipped that. I need to do that. I hate that ability. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> okay. And finally, I've been saving him for last on purpose. Uh, first, let's get in our two dashes. Boom, boom. We've already done so much damage this turn. Dude, turbocharging and then just doing massive amounts of damage all in one turn is such a good strategy against bosses. Dude, this could do it if it crits enough. If... Oh, hold on. Yeah, it could just barely do it. If, like, I think all five of these have to crit. That's not happening. I think, like... Did I see three of them crit? Surely that's not accurate. And then Rabbit Mario, I think we'll just hide back here. And I believe we're done. We should be able to win this next turn. Let's screech him away just to be safe. We do have Fortify, though. Honestly, that might have been bad, because now he's farther away and therefore harder to attack. Oh, he's right there. Rabbit Mar I think Rabbit Mario's got this next turn. That's not ideal, but we've got Fortify for a reason. No big deal. He hurt himself there, I think. I don't think that did any damage. That did not do any damage. Fortify is so insane. Not ideal. It's only two Magic Koopas, though. We can handle that. Ow. Okay, and I think... I think we're about to end it. So, real quick, I am gonna get in a heal on everyone. Because, like, why not? Am I right? <laughs> Saves us having to pay to heal them later. And I think that'll get everyone to full health, actually. Not Rabid Luigi. In that case, we are going to get in. Let's not let's not be too cocky here. Let's double check we're able to win this turn. Easily. He's barely got any health. We could do this with only dashes if we wanted. <laughs> and we are real quick going to get in a team jump so we can get that last bit of healing on Rabid Luigi. There we go. And we'll punch him satisfyingly. Pow! Maybe I should have let normal Bowser end it. Oh well, too late now. Rabbit Mario's OP and has beaten Dark Miss Bowser. If you hear a cat meowing, Zoe's here. Oh my gosh, we're all leveling up. That was insane. That was a really fun battle. I loved that. Oh, I'm curious what the next one's gonna be now. <gasps> what if it's a Wario and Bois Luigi rematch? Hold up. What if we get to rematch them? We haven't fought them since the last game. Oh my gosh, please, 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 Ubisoft. <laughs> please let it be a rematch against those two. <gasps> please let it be a rematch against those two. I'm getting my hopes up so much right now. All right, no secrets or anything here, right? Just had to make sure. <laughs> meow, meow. 
home on my cat wants petting. She loves her attention. I'll just pet her and play the game with one hand. Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope one-handed challenge. Now I must ask, what is... Oh, hold on. No, I got it. There's another cannon over there, and I was wondering what it was for. It's just for getting back. Deep Dark Secret. I don't actually know what that could be, but we'll find out next episode. That battle has taken up the entire episode. So for now, gamers, this has been Flamin' Game in 7 with Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Next episode, we'll take on the Deep Dark Secret quest. And next episode, I believe we will finally be battling Cursa. I'm so excited to see what the Cursa fight holds and what the Deep Dark Secret puddle thingy holds. But for now, gamers, this has been Flamin' Game in 7. Make sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, eat your green vegetables.